Welcome to the tent and sleep system shakedown video. Okay, it's about 20 degrees out and I'm doing a little shakedown out in the backyard to see how my tent and my sleep system function in the cold. I've got the Z-Packs duplex tent set up. I have it on my Tyvek sheet so that it's protected from any rocks and things, even though you don't need to have that with this tent system. I'd just rather be safe and have it protected. So. Amateur video here. So I have my catabactic 15 degree quilt my Thermarest, Thermarest X-Therm, and I actually put a, another sleep pad underneath it for additional ground insulation. And some mittens here. And I have the Z-Packs clothing bag. It also acts as a pillow. to zip with one hand, so, okay. Good to know. That's why we try stuff out, right? Pillow. Yeah, you can hear the tie back. It makes a little bit of noise under the air, underneath there, but. There's plenty of room, as you can see. A decent amount of headroom, but all this goes here. In here, easily fit my backpack and stuff in here. And I wouldn't be surprised if I see any bunnies here tonight. So we'll see. Okay, I'm all comfy cozy in my nice quilt. I've got my liner, so I'm in my liner and I'm in my quilt and it was impossible to try and show you. I did close up the toe box. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I closed up the toe box on this quilt to keep it warm. It might snow tonight, which would be awesome. I have my puppy on, but I am gonna take this off, um, but I'll have it with me if I need it, and I'll probably just keep it in my bag so that it stays warm. This is gonna, if I need it, I'll put this up over my nose so that I can put my sleeping bag up around my neck and not get the moisture from my breathing in my sleeping bag and create moisture in there because you don't want the down to get wet. And this will be my sleep hat, uh, thanks to the Iron Cactus. Uh, this is a, a hat handmade in Nepal and it's fleece lined and it's wool. So I have no doubt that this will be the perfect hat for sleeping. And I also brought, I have my um, Z-Pax Possum gloves, and I brought my mittens just in case. But honestly, I mean, I feel pretty warm already, and it might be just from all the moving around to get settled and get in all of this stuff. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Nighty night. Okay, it's 4.30 in the morning. It's 25 degrees. Feels like 18. Um, it's cold. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> um, I just wanna make it to daylight. Um, I guess what's cold on me is part of my legs and it's because my sleeping bag it's it's not where it should be I think it unzipped and I'm I gotta fix it so I'm gonna do that I also have to go to the bathroom and I don't want to get out of my tent that's probably making me uncomfortable too so I'm gonna try and go back to sleep <laughs> We'll see. 
Okay, um, it's only been a couple minutes, or a minute. I just adjusted my sleeping bag and I already feel a difference, so. Um, the zipper came unzipped and I keep calling it a sleeping bag. I wanna correct that. It's not a sleeping bag, it's a quilt. So, the bottom section came unzipped, probably because I keep spinning myself around to get comfortable. So, um, I just zipped it back up and hopefully I can sleep until it gets a little bit light out. So, so good morning. It's about 6.45. I need it. It's getting light out. You can see. Tree, sun's coming up. The tree's actually, it's kind of cloudy. Shakedown in the tent went really good. Um, I didn't sleep super which i didn't expect to um and i stayed pretty warm considering it was like 20 right now it's like 23 with a real feel of 15. So my sleeping bag stayed dry even around my neck so i was worried about the collar because it got a little damp from my breathing overnight but um it's fine i did use this as much as i could around my face so that definitely helped with condensation around my um, my, my quilt, I keep calling it a sleeping bag. Um, I was also curious about, I read a lot and heard a lot about condensation buildup on the inside of the Z-Pax duplex tent. Um, I have nothing. It is perfectly, perfectly dry today, which is awesome. So that was another thing I was definitely concerned about when I got this um, tent because it's a single wall tent. So. And they tend to be, um, they can be, I've heard that they can be um, tricky with condensation management. So maybe I pitched it right, or maybe it wasn't that humid out last night, or I don't know, <laughs> but I'm happy about that. I am pleased with how everything worked out, as you can see. Something pad underneath my um, Thermarest Xtherm, and then my catabactic quilt on top. And I have a pair of huge, like super thick smart wool socks on. My toes are probably a little cool right now, but they were pretty good all night. Um, I think if it was going to be colder than it was last night, I would need to probably do a little bit more with layering. Um, inside my quilt. I have a smart wool base layer top on um, and I don't have my smart wool base layer bottoms. I have a pair of polyester L.L. Bean um, long johns on so I figured those were probably close enough. It snowed a little bit last night but it didn't accumulate much um, but it was so cool the sound of it on the tent. It was like it would make a little drop sound and then you could hear it like roll so it was kind of neat. I think the worst thing for me, as far as getting a good night's sleep last night, was the sound of the highway. And maybe a little bit getting comfortable. I'm not a big fan of the mummy style sleep systems, you know, where you are, where you're like in a cocoon. <laughs> Just because I like to flail my legs around a little bit but that might take some getting used to. The main, the main reason was to just check everything from a functionality standpoint. And overall, I'd say the experiment went very well.